Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're watching my video right now. Today you will indulge with me on one of the most precious things about Malaysia, the food. Malaysia is a melting pot of several major cultural traditions and that includes the three main races namely the Malays, Chinese and Indian, as well as other indigenous Bumiputra groups. Moreover, due to Malaysia's proximity to Thailand and Singapore, there are many Thais and Singaporeans in Malaysia cooking their delicious special dishes for the people. Other cuisines that I have noticed make a food statement in Kuala Lumpur include Middle Eastern, Vietnamese, and even British or European, but definitely those on the more expensive end. But well, due to the cultural diversity in Malaysia, the food becomes an integral factor in bringing people in Malaysia together. There won't be a day here that you don't think about trying a new food. Nick and I woke up every day to deciding what cuisine we wanted to try today. That's something special, huh? And well guys, as I've said before, food tours are a blessing when it comes to understanding the food culture in a new country. Yes, you can do your research and go to restaurants and try the dishes you're interested in, but you're likely to 1. stay in your comfort zone and 2. you probably won't learn how the locals do it. We did have our own adventures, which I will tell you about in this video, but we did hire a food tour guide to show us around. Our host was amazing, so I would leave the details in the description down below. Alright, less talking and more eating. Let's go! We started our tour in Kuala Lumpur city center, also known as KLCC, at a shopping mall called Lot 10. We got to the food court in the basement to enjoy a delicious pastry. It's a hard shell pastry with a sweet sauce inside plus vegetables and pork and other things. It's just hard to describe but you need to know the experience is unforgettable, it's delicious, you must come and try them. And by the way, we loved the food in this food court. Everything looks very clean and delicious. I think it's a must too in the city of KL. Next, we walked around the famous Jalan Alor Street. There is a great variety of cuisines on this street, including Chinese food, Thai food, Vietnamese food, and of course, Malay food. The street offers a bustling nightlife here, so we recommend you visit after 6 p.m. An important tip you may want to know before picking street food is noticing whether the food stall cooks the food in the moment before you eat it. The heat will kill any type of bacteria the food has, so that will guarantee safety for you and you will be able to stay away from food sickness. Jalan Alor is an entire street dedicated to cheap hawker food that represents unique dishes you probably won't find back at home. You can find everything from snakehead to all types of delicious satay. There is also a good variety of noodles and rice dishes, smoothies, juices, ice cream, all types of things really. During our tour, we enjoyed Chinese dim sum and Nick was obsessed with them. And then we tried Malay satay, we tried fish and also chicken. Take a look. Then we visited the back streets with our local tour guide and got to hear cool stories about the city. We ended our night in a Malay restaurant to try the famous and national dish nasi lemak. Nasi means rice and this special dish has a rice that is steamed with coconut milk. It's really, really tasty and it's served with fried anchovies, peanuts, sliced cucumbers and hard-boiled eggs with the addition of sambal. And in case you're wondering, sambal is like a chili sauce. Really good. Besides this, we had teh tarik, which translates to pulled tea. The tea is made from a strong brew of black tea blended with condensed milk. It's really delicious, we really loved it. So if you come to Malaysia, this is another must try. Oh, and how can I forget, we had roti kanai, which is like a fluffy pancake that you dip on fish or chicken sauce or curry. And oh my god, guys, this is heaven. I love this. Other traditional and popular dishes in Malay include nasi kandar, which I yet have to try, kui anku, which is a sweet treat stuffed with ground peanuts and sugar, 
Kui Ketayap, a crepe with coconut filling. Burbur Cha Cha, coconut based soup. Air Singkau, a jelly like dessert drink that I have not tried yet because it looks too sweet for me, but if you like sweets, this is a must try. Kue Tiao, a flat noodle specialty. And Lasca, which is a popular spicy noodle soup with Chinese and Malaysian influences. The list can definitely be longer than this, so do your research and ask the locals. Hopefully you have enough days to try it all. In my case, I have not been able to eat a lot of Malay food because I'm staying here during their Eid holiday and a lot of restaurants are closed at the moment. But I wish you have better luck. <laughs> well guys, after our food tour, we visited another popular area in Kuala Lumpur. And that is Changkat Bukit Bintang District. This street is popular for shopping and nightlife. There are bars of all types, including Mexican, rock and roll, fancy, and the people's favorite gravy baby. We had our favorite frozen margaritas and lasted to pitbull the whole night. Besides the traditional Malay food, I wanted to tell you about other food spots you need to check out. As I said, Malaysia has a big Indian community, so there are a lot of delicious Indian places. There is even a little India in town. We had Indian food in different places, but we really loved the concept of this Indian place inside Pavilion Mall called Barbecue Nation. They have Indian barbecue plus a buffet system. So pretty much, you get unlimited Indian dishes, freshly made Indian barbecue, and Indian desserts. This was heaven. The lunch price is super affordable, so don't miss it. Next, we have the famous Da Bao, recommended by my YouTube friend Vince. This spot is super artsy, trendy, delicious, and the staff here is super awesome and lovely. We enjoyed our time here so, so much. When you come, we recommend you try the chicken and or the pork bao. They are delicious, mouth-watering, amazing. But anyways, besides everything being amazing here, they also have an excellent location in Chinatown. It's right next to a street art wall and other fabulous restaurants. And since you are in Chinatown, make sure to stroll around and visit the Central Market and also the Chinatown Street. Luckily, there are many Japanese restaurants in KLCC, so we had to try it. Our favorite spot was right next to our apartment. It's called Nori Sushi. Guys, the chef in this place prepares each dish individually and is worth waiting. He is so delicate and dedicated to his work that you can taste it in each bite. We totally indulged here the two times we visited. Another place I was obsessed with was Damascus, a Syrian-inspired restaurant that apparently is loved all over the world, and I don't doubt it. The food here is super fresh, super delicious, super authentic, and I'm so happy. They also have great staff and they open from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. every day. This place saved my life so many times, I have to admit I had it like once a week. Since I'm in Southeast Asia, I can't go without having my Vietnamese food fix. Back to what we know. Hey guys, so we came back to the famous street food street here in Kuala Lumpur and guess what? We just miss Vietnam so much, we came to a Vietnamese place. So in Jalan Alor, there is this super cute and excellent Vietnamese restaurant. It's a 4.3 in Google reviews, but it definitely needs more reviews. We relived our time in Vietnam with super authentic food. We had Ban Seo and Bun Ting Nhong, all super delicious. Another relevant mouth-watering spot is Malai Thai cuisine. 
is right next to Nori Sushi. We came here once for dinner and though it was packed, it was really delicious. I had the red Thai curry and it was so so good. As usual, Nick had a pad thai and he also liked it, though I still think my curry was better. And because we gotta keep it real in this channel, there's one place I don't recommend you visiting and two locals agreed with me. And that is the revolving tower restaurant called Atmosphere 360. It is inside the KL Tower, which is a really important tower, but the restaurant, mm, I don't know. I found out about this place through Viator. The reviews were not terrible, but I did notice that the price there was twice the price they offered in the actual website of the restaurant. So I was super happy that I figured this out and I made our reservations for lunch since I work at night. We headed there in a taxi and the place was not busy at all and I was like, okay, it's just lunch. So we made it to the revolving top part of the tower which was very cool with great views of the city. The sitting area actually moves which it's a cool experience overall. Well, I wasn't a fan of the service. They did not explain how the buffet system worked. They just sat us and poured water non-stop and took our plates away even when we were still trying to finish things. So we felt like we were being watched the whole time yet not really greeted nicely. I don't know, it was weird. Most importantly, the food was just not good. They had a variety of chicken, beef, fish and soy and different carbs but really nothing looked appetizing. The fresher food option seemed to be the noodles and again it wasn't good either. The drinks were not included in the package so be aware of that. The only sweet thing that happened is that they brought us a decorated muffin for our anniversary. So yeah, in summary our local people said yeah they don't have good food. They recommend you go up to the tower, but don't bother to go in the restaurants. If you have been to this place before, any thoughts you want to share in the comments below, let me know. No. So, if you want my honest oh opinion, my I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. That's the worst restaurant we've been to? In a long time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well guys, as always, I thank you so much for your support and for watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this food tour in Malaysia that includes traditional Malay food as well as other cuisines that are delicious in the city of KL. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon.